What's up guys? Well, I'm excited to unbox this. I snagged one of these Model O's before they went into a back order. And very happy I did. Just take a quick look around the packaging. Ascend. Glorious PC gaming race. Here's all the technical specs. Okay, let's uh, thanks, static electricity. Still a satisfying sound, though. Alright, let's get it out of the box. Screw that. We'll just do this. Alright. Very nicely presented, that's for sure. Send. Nothing else on the other two sides, alright. First time picking the mouse up, and holy crap, that's light. All right, we'll move the mouse out of the way just for a sec. Throw that away before the cat gets it. So, we get something in here. What do we get? Oh, that's cool. So just kind of a little thank you for purchasing their product. What do we got here? Some stickers? Yeah, it looks like some stickers. And then instructions and whatnot. But, all right, other products. And then this probably just explains yeah, support and whatnot. Lighting effects and all that good stuff, so. Anyway, though. Let's get the star of the show back into the shot. Hmm. All right, interesting. Now, take a look at the mouse itself. Very nice feet. Hmm. Do some clicks. Mouse wheel. Ooh, that feels nice. The only mouse wheel I've felt that feels nicer to move, anyway, is my uh, 502 Prometheus core. I like that metal mouse wheel. That thing's sick. But other than that, fucking nice. Cord feels pretty cool. Don't know what on earth it's actually made out of. I, don't, I think they said it was paracord-like, but it's not paracord. I don't know for sure. Probably should have done a little bit more research before making the video but I was excited got it in the mail just a few minutes ago immediately came up here started making a video about it so it seems like they give you a pretty nice sized cable but all right figured I'd real quickly do a quick size comparison here compared to some of the other mice I have. So we've got the 502 here, 305 height speed. We've got the uh, Zowie EC2A from BenQ. And then we've got the uh, High Rally gaming mouse. I believe, ah, there we go, it actually says it is there, the F300. Didn't remember if it actually said its model number or not. But, let's see here. That's how it compares to them. Let's just hold them up. 
individually. This is not scientific or anything, but I figured some people might be interested. Okay. And let's just see. That's nice. There's no rattles or shakes in it. So none of them have rattles or shakes, so that's at least nice. It's good that the even the $17 mouse doesn't have any rattles or shakes. Okay, we've got the uh, Glorious Model O all plugged in. Quick, let's take a quick look here at the uh, RGB. Left side, mouse wheel, you can kind of see a little RGB in through the honeycomb, and then on the right side, but it feels really, really nice. I like this mouse so far. All right, now let's take a quick look at the software. Okay, it's gonna get a little shaky just for a little bit, just so I can show you the software real quick. On the first screen, you've got your uh, profiles for all your buttons and whatnot. You can change all of those by going to the macro editor. You can save profiles and stuff down here. Over here, you've got your DPI settings. Then you've got your lighting settings. Your liftoff distance. Your polling rate and your debounce time. Now to be completely honest, I don't know what that is, so I'm going to leave it alone. But, let me go back to DPI settings. Anyway though, seems to be a really, really, really nice mouse. I hope I'm happy with it. Hopefully it doesn't just break. Hopefully it's reliable. But for my next video, I think I'll just play some Black Ops 4, I think. Yeah, I'll do some Black Ops 4 and uh, play some bots or something with like all my different mice that I showed earlier in the video and see how good I do. That would be fun. But anyway, tell that video. Peace out guys.